attached to it but if it extends to you now being overweight obese having medical conditions now you know that you need to rein that in a little bit and we regain that control you are in control of everything that you're eating you're in control of everything that you're putting in your mouth and i want you to regain that control and feel in control of your diet and the way you look and the way you feel you have control over that and i'm going to give that back to you with intermittent fasting okay so the first week of the regimen you are going to be drinking you know two liters to a gallon of water a day depending on how long you're fasting for example if you're fasting 16 hours a day i need you to drink at least two liters of water a day so here's my two liter water bottle i keep it with me everywhere i'm always drinking water and you should be doing the same get a two liter water bottle or a gallon water bottle and finish it before bedtime okay, that is going to help you Water is going to help you for numerous reasons. You know, it's going to help you, of course, remain hydrated. Because, you know, we don't want you to become dehydrated while you're fasting. Since you're not going to be eating or, or drinking anything other than water, you, you, know, you may feel the side effects of dehydration, which are headaches, irritability, lightheadedness, you know, dry mouth, things like that. And all of those things can make you feel like eating something. And we don't want you to have that feeling. Okay. And also, water is important to detox. While you're fasting, your body is able to, you know, detox, eliminate all those damaged cells, eliminate, you know, all of these bad things that are sitting in your gut. You're giving yourself a chance to flush those toxins out of your system. And your body needs water to flush toxins out of your system. Okay. Sending them to your kidney, um, to your to your, your colon, um, sweating them out. All that requires water. Okay. Reflex. Um, <laughs> And also um, the actual process of fat metabolism and breaking up those fat cells. That process also uses quite a, a lot of water. So water is going to be quite important for this fast. And my favorite reason for the water, you know, it keeps your stomach full. It makes your stomach feel like it's full. Once your stomach receptors are stretched out, they feel full. They tell your brain, hey, I'm full, I'm satisfied, I don't need to eat anything. And that's going to help you feel comfortable too, as you push your fast. 12 hours, 14 hours, 16 hours as your fast extends, okay? Water's gonna be super important. I will be checking in with you periodically throughout the day saying, hey, how much water have you drunk so far? Let me see a picture of your water bottle. Okay, get on the water. If you're one of those that exercise in the morning, I'm gonna ask you to drink you know, water before and after the exercise, of course, to help with muscle recovery, okay? So two liters to one gallon of water. You're going to be fasting 16 to 20 hours most of my clients fast 16 hours but i do have some that fast 20 hours and i even have my warriors who fast 23 hours they do omad omad is my favorite type of fast also which is one meal a day which is when you're eating all of your meals within you know a one hour period of time okay and you're eating you know quite a number of calories during that time to make sure that you still have um, sufficient amount of calories for your body's functions okay calories are not bad Food is not bad. Of course, you need a certain minimum amount of calories to, so that your body can function normally and so that you can lose weight in a healthy way and not binge eat afterwards so that your metabolism doesn't slow down, all of those things. But you also want to be in a calorie deficit so that you can lose weight. A calorie deficit basically means that you've ingested or burned off more calories um, than the required amount for the day. Okay? That allows your body to go into your fat stores and burn off that fat instead. So this is where the magic of fasting comes in. This is the cheat code of fasting. When you're fasting, your body is burning off your fat stores. The fat that you have stored up, the fat that's sitting on your body that you want off. That is what's targeted when you're fasting. As long as you're continually eating, your body will always preferentially eat what you, what you newly ingested. It's not gonna burn off those fat stores. It's always gonna store that for later. And later will never come unless you give yourself a chance to fast or of course if you're exercising you know into a calorie deficit which most people are not exercising and moving so much in a day that they're putting themselves into a calorie deficit alone with the way that they're exercising so fasting at the end of your fast you're going to be automatically in a calorie deficit okay that's going to be your win for the day you're already ahead once you've completed your fast the only thing you need to do after that is eat healthily okay to maintain that calorie deficit and i'm going to have you doing some exercise to chop into that calorie deficit even more lose weight even more boost your metabolism even more and reap other benefits of you know exercising
using plastic.